Hey guys, Daily Tech here, and today we're going to be talking about and testing one of the most anticipated RiftCat updates that we've had in quite some time now. This is of course the wireless support for Nolo. If this is your first time visiting my channel, thanks for stopping by, and if you enjoy all different types of custom VR, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything else in the future. In the past few days, RiftCat has added the Nolo drivers to the RiftCat software. This means you no longer need to start the Nolo software before running RiftCat, and the best part about it now is that it can be 100% wireless. All you have to do now is start up RiftCat, then plug Nolo into your phone using this little cable that came with your Nolo. And just recently, this now includes the Gear VR 2017 edition. Unfortunately, if you have the 2016 or 2015 version of the Gear VR, it's not going to work. I myself, I have the 2015 and 2016, and I thought the 2016 might work because it is the same type of headset and looks virtually identical, but after a couple of hours of troubleshooting, I just couldn't get it to work at all. So this means I'm going back to the classified ads to see if I can buy myself yet a third Gear VR now. But in the meantime, we're going to try this out on a cardboard headset to see just how well the NOLA performs while it's wireless. But at this point in time, there are a couple limitations you do need to keep in mind. If you previously had your 2017 Gear VR tethered to your computer, you can't do that if you want NOLA connected as well. So if you want wireless NOLA with the Gear VR, you do have to have the whole thing wireless. Secondly, there is no ceiling support yet, so you can't quite get the 360 degree room scale with that ceiling mount. Also, there's no controller feedback added just yet, and some of the games that require different throwing mechanics are not going to work. That doesn't mean all of them are not going to work, but there are going to be a few that you'll notice. Now, Riftcast has been working really hard to get the controllers supported properly in their software. They've actually been releasing some betas really early for people to give a try and to give them feedback on how well it works and what kind of issues they run into. So far, they've done a great job on fixing up minor things that have come up, so hopefully these limitations that we just talked about are going to be fixed relatively soon. Now, there is one more massive part to this update that I haven't mentioned yet, and I think, quite frankly, it's probably the most important part of the update. For the Gear VR version, they've managed to reduce the CPU usage drastically. It's not not quite on the cardboard version yet, but that should be really, really soon. When they announced this for the Gear VR, they did say that the cardboard version will be getting that same patch the next week. So depending on when you're seeing this, it might already be in by now. So what does this mean by lowering the CPU usage on your phone? It's going to help out in a lot of ways. For one, you're going to be able to play for far longer because your battery is not going to be chewed up as fast. Secondly, it's going to generate a lot less heat. This means you'll be able to play for far longer without getting any kind of thermal throttling. Now I'm not saying it's going to be completely removed, but it is going to be a lot better. And lastly, if you have a bit of an older phone that's not quite as powerful, it might actually perform a lot better now. Because if it is the CPU in your phone that's not keeping up, then now it should be a little bit easier because there's a lot less work for it to do. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get into Steam VR and we're going to do a full room scale setup using Nolo. And then we're going to test out a new game that I got just recently called Operation Warcade. I bought this game last week, but I've been borrowing my friend's Oculus Rift CV1 and I've been playing the guts out of that game with it. If you remember the old arcade game, and I believe it came out on console too, called Operation Wolf? It's a direct knockoff of that game, but they've done an amazing job, and it is really, really awesome. If you want to check it out on Steam VR, I put a link to it in the description. So let's get ourselves set up and give this thing a test. Alright, as I mentioned, we're going to be doing the room scale setup now, and as a note, I'm using my Kinect version 2 as a webcam right now. This thing works pretty great, it's got a massive wide angle lens, but I don't think it's handling this light so well, but uh... Hey, why don't we bear with me? I think it's going to work better to watch doing the room setup though. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to room scale. Click on that. Once you got your space available, as you see I've got enough here. Make sure everything's being tracked. It looks like it's being tracked. And also my NOLO is right there. So it's probably about eight inches away from this camera right now, which is about that much. So we'll go to next. Calibrate which way is going to be forward. You can actually just pull it, should be able to pull a trigger on the controller. All right, we got forward. There you go next. All right. And then, this is to put on a desk. I'm just going to put it on my head because this is how tall I am. And 72. And then we're going to just go like this. 
Okay. So I've got my height. This is the interesting part here. So you'll want to click advanced mode first. You can actually put the headset down, but I'm going to wear it only to heat up the lenses a little bit. But um, as you can see on the screen here, just tracking your controllers. So under advanced mode, instead of drawing a line, you're actually just going to click a few spots. So come up far this way as I can and put a point. See how far I get this to track. See if we get no low tracking all the way back here. And then Okay, there's the square drawn. Let's hit next. And we're gonna edit this. Sorry, my controllers are bouncing it around. I'm gonna actually just make that a little bit bigger. Okay, and we are good. So let's head back into game and get my mirror going. Operation Warcade. All right, so I had to switch back to the webcam for the gameplay part of this video because my computer really didn't like me for recording with the Kinect version 2 and playing the game and recording the screen all at the same time. But anyways, we're recording, the game's running, so let's jump in. Select operation. Select mission. Select operation. Select mission. Starting real operation. All right, here we are. These get pure automatic movies. Man, those guys are pretty far away. I guess throwing kind of works in this game. Oh, jeez. 